particular guest I'm about to speak to um, in a few seconds' time because I was very, very young when I used to watch him way back then, you know, on television doing his thing. And uh, he's actually a Zambian musician in diaspora. He's based in Australia. Ladies and gentlemen, I'd like to introduce to you Mr. Larry Maluma. Please welcome to the show. Thank you very much. I'm very humbled. I'm very excited. I'm actually short of words. I don't even know what to say because I was a kiddo, kabudo, uh, you yeah. know, and I used to watch you uh, on TV. Everyone has been telling me the same. I'm getting older. <laughs> <laughs> not, not to mean so. You, you still look healthy. You still, you, you know, you still look energetic. And I know you were at the Rhythm of Life concert. You were doing your thing, and I was amazed. Uh, it was a very good concert, actually. You know, I was. Um, Really good to see uh, a number of bands there, you know. Okay. I haven't uh, seen uh, Zambian bands in a long time. Okay. Uh, for the sake of the, you know, the, the young viewers who don't know who Larry Maluma is, just, just give us a brief background about yourself. Ooh, I've been around for a few years now, you know. Mm. I, um, say in the early 80s, uh, a lot of people know me from, uh, I think, the song called uh, Chakolwa. Mm. Uh, which I did in 1984. 1984? 1984, 1984 okay. yes. Uh, but before then, I was, um, you know, I played with a few bands. I was played with, um, I played with Ricky Longa and um, uh, in a band called Matzia Moyo with uh, Derek, uh, the late Derek Mbao. And um, I played with uh, people like Isaac Popfu and um, the band called uh, Heathen. And um, I used to have a band called Larry Gesh and Mike in the Copper Belt. Mm. Yes. I went there for a couple of years. And uh, we did a couple of um, a couple of singles. Okay. And um, yeah, I've, yeah, I've been in Australia for a very, very long time since uh, '85. The video I can vividly remember when I was young is Walila, 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 Walila. You know what <laughs> yes, I mean? Yeah. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah, that, that's beautiful stuff. You still have that those, those videos? I think I'd like I've, to showcase um, them one day. Yes, I've, I've got um, I've got all the videos, and um, I will, I'll bring you some. Uh, Great. Okay, you've been away for some time. What's your perception of Zambian music at the moment? What's your impression? Well, I've um, I've actually been quite impressed with some of the singers, you know. And um, um, the only the only drawback is, um, I mean, the, the, there is a lot of uh, programmed music, you know, mm. to do computerized with music. computerized music. Okay. You, you know, we've got um, uh, programmed drums and. Uh, Keys and all that. Mm -hmm. I, I would like to see uh, a lot more bands playing, but I actually saw a few at um, at um, concert at showgrounds there. Mm -hmm. There were quite a few live bands. But um, as I said, I've heard a lot of music on uh, radio and uh, seen a, a lot on television. I would like to see a few more bands mm -hmm. playing. You know, it's quite exciting to see a band playing live. I think. Mm -hmm. for, yes. for, for what what makes a complete artist for you? Ah oh, well, you've got to be. Um, You've got to be able to make music. Okay. Yes, and um, love what you do, and uh, be consistent and persistent. Okay, great. I'm talking to Larry Maluma right here on uh, the People's Choice. It's, it's great. He's, he's a legend, Zambian music legend, Zambian artist in diaspora, and we're sharing a lot of things actually right here. I'll ask him about Zambian videos as well a little later, but uh, he was performing at the Rhythm of Life concert, and we'll be giving you some clips a little later right here on the show. What about uh, some artists from uh, the old school, if I may put it that way? Um, you know, if you have to compare music from then and, and, and music now, you know, I've ha there's been this debate for so long. You know, the, 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 the old folks think yes. the new guys are not good enough, you know. Uh, they are not playing real Zambian music. That's what some old folks think, uh, you know. I don't know. What do you think? What is real Zambian music? Well, real Zambian music is, um, I think we've got to try and create our own. We've been trying for a long time, and it um, looks as if we haven't, uh, we haven't really, you know, got to the, really, to the real roots, you know. Okay. But um, we've, we've got some very good traditional music, you know, very good traditional Zambian music, which we need to, to use, you know. Mm -hmm. um, as I said before, uh, the old school days, you know, we yes. used to play. Play live. Play live, you know? and, uh, yeah. With uh, lots of, uh, you know, everything, drums, yeah. percussion, and, you know, guitars, and the whole lot, you know. Okay. But, um, yeah, the only difference is, as I said, you know, the music is computerized now. Okay. And uh, 
We still need uh, to go back to the uh, you know, old school style, you know, yeah. and, uh, but there is still place, you know, there's still space for computerized stuff, but, we, you know, don't let everyone go, go the same way. Go computer way, yes. okay. Yes. Great, my guest is Larry Maluma, the legendary right here on The People's Choice. Remember, this is your official music videos countdown, the top ten actually in the country. Every week I showcase the top ten and the finest videos in the nation. Coming up... Mr. Maluma, we are back um, yes. after uh, a short break. We're um, reading those text messages. Now, tell me where you think Zambian music will be like uh, five years from now, from what you're seeing at the moment. Well, it looks as if um, I hope things will just keep on getting better. Okay. Yeah. Uh, it's looking good so far. Mm -hmm. uh, as, I was, as I was saying, uh, we just need a few more guys to start, you know, being real, you know, with um, live live performances, you know. guys. If you're watching, especially the artists at the moment, we're talking to a man who's been there, done that, he's still in the game, and he's saying you need to step up the game in as far as live performances are concerned. You were just telling me that guys like Kenya West still go and do live shows. Yes, um, they do. Um, when they record, you know, they use uh, bits and pieces <coughs> of, um, you know, yeah. computers and stuff. You yeah. know, computers. Um, but when they actually go out to play mm. live, they actually have uh, musicians, you know. Yeah, yeah. They have um, almost an orchestra, you know. I've seen yeah. uh, Kenya West playing with a, almost, um, you know, an orchestra, you know. Great. And it sounds good. Your first album was good. in the 80s. Uh, how many albums do you have as of now? I've, um, I've done eight albums so far that are out in Australia. And okay. I've, um, I've just finished recording the ninth album, which should be out um, uh, when I go back to Australia. Um, mm -hmm in a few weeks. Okay. So I'm um, hoping to uh, release that one here later on uh, the end of this year, I uh, hope. I know you've brought us a video. I, I, I don't know if you'll be able to show it there, but I know in my uh, coming shows uh, I will be able to, to, to slam it for the, for the viewers. Yeah. Um, what's the name of the video? Uh, it's called Warrior. Warrior. And it's from uh, my eighth album called um, Maganangu, My ah. Story. Ah, nice one. Yes. How many songs are on Maganangu? Uh, 12 songs. Okay. I've got 12 songs on uh, Maganangu. Okay. And um, as I said, um, hopefully in the near future, I'm planning to uh, bring a band here um, just to show yeah. a few people what, you know. That will be, that will be absolutely what fantastic. What I do in Australia. Yeah. You know? yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. okay. Yes. Wait, uh, before I release you, um, any special word? Firstly, to the Zambian Music Fraternity and as well to your fans. And I know you've got a huge fan base. I mean, I'm one of them from thank you. childhood and now, you know, I'm talking to you. Uh, thank you very much. And uh, um, I really appreciate, the, um, you know, the welcome that you have given me. And, um, you know, I'd, I'd really like to see um, Zambian Music take off and, uh, you know, hit the um, web internationally, you know. Yes. Um, so, guys... Keep it up, you know. Get into um, into playing live instruments, mm -hmm. and um, I know there are a lot of singers and there are a lot of uh, uh, musicians, you know, artists. Mm -hmm. I know that you are there, mm -hmm. so please don't give up. Keep it up. Okay. Now, what we're about to show the viewers is um, a concert which was last week. It was called the Rhythm of Life concert, and you were there. Yes, I was. Okay. There, yes. What did you love the most about that concert? Um. There were actually live bands there. <laughs> okay, okay. I like to see live, live bands. Band. There were live bands there, and um, <clears throat> I saw um, quite uh, a number of good uh, players and singers. You know. Okay. And um, yeah, I would like to see more of that. It was okay. really good. I'd like to thank you so much for coming through to the studio. My pleasure. I and, wish uh, you all the best. Thank and, you very uh, much. I should thank be coming you. to Australia pretty soon, and I'll be looking forward to. We'll be waiting. So you for you. Me. We'll be waiting for you. Okay, uh, great. Thank you. Larry Maluma has been my guest right here on the People's Choice. Thank you so much to him, the legendary. And I have learned so many things, and I know you, as the artist right there, has learned something.